Peter. Peter, we can save her. You're almost there. Focus on me, Peter. Dad! Hmm? Come on, get up. We don't have much time. <clears throat> Mom will be home soon. Come on, get up! Nikki, what? <sighs> Finally! I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon, and I want everything to be perfect. Uh, Nikki. For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Listen to me, okay? None of this is real. Are you kidding? Dad! You promised you'd help me surprise Mom for her birthday. No, I didn't. Yes! You said you'd help fix the hollow projector, and the cake still needs candles, and I can't find the present we got her. Come on, Nikki. None of this seems oddly familiar to you. Oh no, I or Okay, that part was always weird. No, I baked it. Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. Okay, Nick. What if I told you none of this is real? Obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Yeah, okay. That's still pretty cool. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Speaking of messed up... Yeah. It's hollow, and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful, Nikki. Just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Happy birthday, love Nikki and Peter. What am I supposed to do? Did you find it? Yes! Okay, put it with the others. Great! A gift. Put it on the table. Does anything I say here actually matter? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember the artist's alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Krilar? Guess that answers my question. Any chance we can talk now? I don't think so. How does it look? Looks like you're knee-deep in this promise. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Oh, boy. Peter, open the door. It's ma'am. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. I wonder how great you'll think I am after I destroy this nightmare. Dad, get the door! Oh, am I ever glad to see you. It is crazy weird in there. Nikki's on a loop. Nothing I say matters. We need to find a way to get through to her. Peter. I know, I know. We need a plan. There's no we. Okay, I get it. I have a lot of making up to do. Peter. If we're gonna do this... I'm dead, Peter. Yeah, but... not like dead dead. Right? I heard your voice. No, you brought me here. I'm seeing you here now. You're seeing a ghost? Some part of me is inside the soul stone, but not in any way that's real. We can figure it out. Maybe we can no. find a way... You need to focus on her now. Help her accept that I'm not coming back. I just... I wish you would have told me. Told you what? About Nikki. You know? You, me... 
12 years ago? Oh, Peter. I did the math. Her promise isn't real. Yeah, I know, but the rest of it is. Right? You and me on Mercury? I remember that night. So do I. But she isn't your daughter. She's not my daughter. I don't understand. She's a war orphan. On the shuttle home, the Cree Council was rounding up anyone who wasn't full-blooded enough. Nikki was this... tiny little thing. I couldn't let them kill her. So I'm... not... a father. No. Well, not her father. Well, okay. That doesn't mean she doesn't need you. She has to let me go. I tried. She won't listen. She has to. The birthday, the presents, whatever it is that's keeping her attached to some fake version of me, of us. Destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You have to be. I know. Where's mom? That was her, right? She's not coming. Of course she's coming. I guess that was just... just Carlos telling us she's running late. Which means I still have time to get the music just right. Destroy the lie. She has to come. Hey! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Nick. No! I can fix this. Mom will still come. It's not real, Nikki. None of this is real. I hate you! You're not my dad! You're not my... Yeah, kiddo. I know. You ruined it. You ruined everything! Mom was gonna come in and... and... All I want is to see her. Whatever walks through that door... won't be your mom. You don't know that. Well, there's a lot I don't know. How to keep my foot out of my mouth. How to not get arrested. How to console a 12-year-old whose very legitimate grief might just destroy the galaxy. But this... the promise, Nick. Con when I see one. This isn't about you. You're right. I'm not gonna pretend to know what you're going through or what you're feeling. I don't even know what I'm feeling. It's like empty and heavy at the same time. I keep seeing her, but then as soon as I focus, I... Is this what it's always gonna be like? I don't know. It's different for everyone. But there was no one like your mom. She really really loved you. I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. 
I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And that... And then it's all my fault. If I hadn't distracted her... If I'd been quicker... I know what you're doing. I did the same thing. Holding on to all this guilt about the way it happened instead of... It's not the same. And even if it is... I know, I... It's just hard to see you go through what I went through. There's so many things I wish I could go back and tell myself. Would you have listened? Reject the line, Nick. All I can tell you is me. I don't think it's her. I think it's a very bad thing that wants to eat the entire galaxy. And you know your mom? For all her faults? It's not the galaxy eating type. It doesn't matter what I think, because it's not my promise. I can't destroy it for you. So let's just say that the creepy thing at the door... ...is not my mom. I can do that. I still don't know how... ...how does anyone... Am I just supposed to smash cakes all day? <laughs> Breaking stuff is pretty cathartic. But there's other ways. What are you doing? It's an earth thing. My mom taught me. The idea that you light something to remember someone. To pay tribute. I mean, it's not magic or anything. It doesn't bring anyone back, but... You know, it's, it's a gesture. A small thing in the face of a very bad thing. Sometimes that's all we have. I keep thinking back to the elevator. She was angry at me. Not that angry. More like, uh, lovingly concerned.
grab. We ain't getting through that. We have to, or Golden Boy's toast. Focus on Raker's fan club.
Behold before you your benevolent guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> it is done! Okay, okay, we'll give you this one. Shall we? Our door and mass is await. So, we actually won? Fucking right we did. We must save the entire galaxy more often. Count me in! Next time, I, I promise I won't almost destroy it first. No more promises from you. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this moment, people. Let's make sure we bask in it. There you are, you old dog. We have multiple dog report items to discuss. Case is closed. No need. Guardian of Galaxies. Live up to name. They had some help. Oh, gosh! Who are all these little guys? If Guardian are looking for more work, Cosmo always chasing problems. I think what we need right now is a nice walk. Seems me delicate? <laughs> and who is this precious little candy in his golden wrapper? <laughs> Ew, gross. Uh, I, uh, Lady Hellbender, we regret the death of so many great beasts, but we honor their sacrifice. They died protecting their pack. There is honor in that. Will you return to Seknarf 9? We must first build a worthy home for Foom, or he will devour every creature on my world. If he gets loose again, give us a call, and we can discuss rates. As we calculated, the, the Golden, Golden God, God proved key to dismantling the Universal Church of Truth. A sound summation. How about a little credit for not letting you make the worst decision of your collective lives? Twice. Twice! Your additional... Data analysis did adjust certain computational... Ow. You can just feel the world but clenching. What, wild beast? <laughs> what foul fluid! Foolish, fickle creature! Uh, behold, one of the other guardians of the galaxy. I am Groot. What did he say? Yeah, that'll show you to your room. Except we don't got a spare room, you big lug. I am Groot. No. Flark, no. Hey, Groot, you give her yours! 
I got a lot of important scud in mind. I'm glad it's this ending, and not the really sad one. How many sad endings were there? Ugh, a lot. Oh. <sighs> Please proceed. Ah, you go ahead. No need, I insist. No, I insist. Please, proceed. This pointless pageant of politeness plagues our progress. Which is why you should go first. Very well. I will voyage through the vexing vestibule. The limit, I guess. Clearly, it is not. We could rob a bank. We are broke. No, I, I am not robbing a bank. That's illegal. And super fun. You are corrupting the child. Relax, Drax. It's a suggestion. A potentially really lucrative suggestion. <laughs> you okay there, Gold Bond? It is irritating indigestion. <clears throat> Nothing of note. Okay. Well, there's a bathroom in the back if you need it. So, Mantis, now that the universe is safe again, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'll go back to Lamentis. Although, I hear Earth is really nice this time of year. Ooh, maybe I'll go check out Contraxia. You can gamble there. Uh... Shouldn't we give Contraxia a bit of time to, you know, unpromise? Either way, it is no place for a child. <laughs> Seriously, man. Oh, you don't look so good. Where's the first aid kit? I have basic field training. <laughs> we do not own the first aid kit. What are you talking about? We have a first aid kit. Engine tape doesn't count. You probably just need some ginger ale. 